Hi Virgo, it's Mystical here and we have your reading for In Love for Mid-September and we're doing it tonight on the Harvest Full New Moon in Virgo in your sign. So if you have Virgo in your chart, in your moon or in your sun sign, Venus, Jupiter, this reading is for you. And we're going to do the Moonology Oracle cards first and we're going to see what the answers from the moon are for you what advice so i pre-shuffled these cards and i meditated on your energy for tonight and we are going to see what the virgo moon tonight is bringing in for you this is going to bring in a fresh start a huge understanding in your life Starting off a new cycle here. Let's see what messages we have for you, Virgo. And this is a collective reading for the sign of Virgo. The first card out is Have Faith in Your Dreams, the Waxing Crescent Moon. A need for faith. Beautiful energy. Have faith in the dreams that you planted, the seeds, because this new moon that's bringing in the energy of fruition, fruition for the seeds that you planted. And let's see what the energies are, the messages. A new start is coming, new moon. And this is for tonight bringing in a new chapter in your life, a new cycle, coming to a higher level of commitment in your life. One more, please. Have faith in your dreams that your dreams are coming true, Virgo. One more card, thank you. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Beautiful energy. So I see Virgo here that you are into meditating. So it's telling you do your breathing exercises. Remain your, to keep your balance because there is new energy coming in. Old energy is passing through. So if you're feeling an emptiness right now, subconsciously, there is an ending coming in here. You are right at the eight, at the center of the new beginning. You're in the center of the starting. Have faith. You're at the beginning stages. Okay, let's see what the tarot has to say. So now we pre-shuffle these cards, Virgo. We're going to see what your energy is in love. And then we're going to go ahead and check on the person you're involved with. So Virgo, I see you're very much in your emotions here. Queen of Cups. You are feeling very intuitive at this time. You're very sensitive. You're also a mother figure here with the Queen of Cups. This is my Cancer Scorpio or Pisces card. And this is telling me that you're very calm. You're very compassionate. You're the one with the most empathy. But in this card, her, her cup is closed off. I felt inner conflicts were going on here. There's a lot of unconditional love. You mastered the emotions here. This is someone here, Virgo, this is telling me you have a great amount of love here. But there's a cup that's closed off here. So you're very much deep into your emotions being closed off at this time. is going on for my Virgos for mid-September 2020. What is the harvest moon bringing in for my lovely Virgos? There you go. That new start, Virgo, it's here. And it can't, my cards don't lie. Look at this. A new start, Virgo, in your life, the fool. This is you taking that leap of faith. This is Uranus in Aries, this is taking a risk, going for it, 
trusting your gut aligned with the sun here the wand is aligned with the sun and you're taking a leap of faith and you're only taking what's needed with you a light load here moving forward here and I see in the energy here there's a leap of faith that you're taking that new start is coming in and I need to breathe breathe out the energy have faith because there is a new start here five of cups that feeling of that insecurities that feeling of regret a feeling of loss five of cups is being at a loss it's also the nine of swords feeling anxiety feeling anxious having sleepless nights that was the energy I was getting when I pulled here it's coming to that subconscious feeling where you feel empty you feel that loss that regret because a chapter of your life is closing out you are moving to a higher level now let's see what the cards are for clarifying Queen of Cups page of wands page of wands is a fresh new energy it's also divine timing and why are you moving forward you are taking a leap of faith here ace of cups overwhelming emotion this is also eternal love it is the ultimate love the supreme love this is the hand of god source the creator coming in to bring in that ace of cups to put you on that new start that new beginning where there is a new love offer coming in here wow ace of cups ace of pentacles this new beginning is long long term it's bringing in prosperity ace of pentacles virgo whatever you lost now there's a new beginning here that's bringing in long-term love a relationship that's offering stability here four of pentacles you've been hanging on waiting for this there's an energy of hanging on for a long time waiting it's like don't block your heart don't stay release the negative energy have faith that your dreams are coming true and release this negative energy doubts fears insecurities regret tonight would be a good night to write this down scripting of what you're releasing because the will of fortune is here to bring in good luck this is this is destiny this is sagittarius jupiter bringing in new beginnings a new phase in your life there's been a completion here virgo in your life and this is a turning point it could bring in second chances but whatever it is, the time is now, Virgo. This is bringing in rewards, accomplishments. Well done. Wow. Okay. And it could bring in someone from the past, Virgo. This could be someone that you had a past relationship with. Someone that wants a reunion here. Someone that's coming in to offer you long-term stability. Someone that loves you. Let's get some clarifiers and this reading is going to be to clarify this reading on the table for Virgo Collective mid-September 2020 let us let, let us check the energy of who you are thinking of Virgo at this time let's see who is in your life here and what they're thinking how they feel what are their intentions? And how do they feel about you, Virgo? Okay. The person in Virgo's life. Show us what we need to see for the person in Virgo's life. How do they feel about my Virgo? How does this person feel? 
emperor. This person is an Aries, possibly, and this person is known as the father, the daddy. This is someone in your life here that's missing their children. You can have children with this person, but there's a father figure here. This is known as the emperor. It's number four. This is someone that has a lot of authority where their status is their power. This person also does not show or reveal their weaknesses or feelings. They don't show that. This person seems to be someone that goes in and out of your life. There's an energy of someone growing up, someone that was in and out of your life, but this person is looking back at making a long-term goal now. They're focused on the future and they don't show you what they're feeling. If there's any hurdles in the way, they will not show that energy. They take action. This person is an adventurer, someone that takes action, Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. But it was a person that was coming and going in and out of your life. Someone that wasn't really hanging on. Someone that wanted to hang on to their youthful energy of not being committed, of not being stable, is what I see. What is this person thinking? So this person is at a standstill. A lot of Pisces energy has been coming through. And this is that Neptune energy. This is the hangman. This person has feels like if they have their hands tied at this moment. This person can't see clearly. They are reevaluating. There needs to be a, they're in suspension. They need to make a whole 360 degree turn. They need to have a new understanding, a new perspective. They need to regain a new perspective here. Pisces energy. They need to let go and make a sacrifice. This person is hanging on I feel like they've been in limbo for quite some time here. And this person being in limbo is now taking the stand of coming into the energy of a father figure. And I have Major Arcana, King of Pentacles. This is that Virgo, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. two masculine energies here but this energy is telling me if they have Virgo or Aries in their chart take it how it resonates this person is bringing in communication ace of swords they want clarity they want truth ace of swords energy this is the hand of God bringing in truth and this person wants to communicate about this they see long term they see putting the work in Aries energy for the Emperor and King of Pentacles. These are power players. These are someone who has their own business. Someone could be their own boss. Someone that is taking care of themselves financially independent. They bring in finances. This person builds kingdoms. But this person is at a standstill right now. They're feeling quite in limbo. Ten of Wands. They need to release the burdens. There needs to be a releasing here, a letting go, a sacrifice, ten of wands. What is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions? Scorpio, death card. This person has intentions on starting a beginning. If there was an ending, this person wants a new beginning. It's transformed. They've gone through a transformation or they're going through a transformation and now they want a new beginning. They want a new offer of love with you is what I'm saying, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person wants to restart a situation where there was an ending. Okay. So let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Seven of Swords. One more. Knight of Swords. 
Queen of Cups with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Someone here, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius could be, but someone here was lying, stealing, very deceptive energy. Someone here, their words were very cutting. They cut deep and hard. Their communication. This person bring a lot of drama into your life. That's why your, your heart is closed off. You're closing off your, the cup to this person. This person you could not trust. This person put you in the five of cups energy with the, with the nine of swords energy because the words that they told you, they left you with a lot of regret. There's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of deep, deep, deep pain that was, that was hidden, five of cups energy. Confusion, disappointment, despair. The world card with the page of wands clarifying. This is definitely a new start for you, Virgo. You've completed a cycle in your life. Something very positive with the world card. And the world card is the Pluto energy. This is after... The Scorpio energy is what I'm feeling. There's been a transformation here. And this person here is feeling very positive. They could be at a distance from you also. But this is ready to end a karmic cycle with the world card. Something that you completed and accomplished. You could have traveled to here with the Page of Wands. This can mean that you're about to travel. You're about to start a new adventure. Something you're feeling very passionate about, very creative. There's a new start here, is what I'm seeing. The world card is completing that cycle. Very positive. A very positive structure is what you have here. Let's clarify this full card. Why is the full card here? Ten of Swords. There's that ending of a difficult phase in your life. And now you're moving forward. You're taking a new leap of faith, a new chance. Ten of Cups here. Okay. Ten of Pentacles with two of Pentacles, Virgo. This is your energy. An energy of having to go back and forth. Something here needs to gain balance. Ten of Pentacles is bringing in that wealth, that long, long-term money here. I feel with that Ace of Pentacles. There's generational wealth here. There's, a, there's an energy of business owner, an energy of three generations. There's also a child here, a grandparent. Someone could be a grandparent here. There's an energy of you having to go juggling so much in your life. You're taking care of children. You're taking care of family here. You're working. And I have 10-10 on the table. So this cycle could have involved you going back and forth, back and forth, but it involves a long time here in the making, Virgo. There could be 10 years in, 10 years out is what I see. But there's a juggling. Should I do it? Should I go? Should I take this leap of faith? And it's saying, yes, take the leap of faith. There is unconditional love here. And I have nine of swords twice. It has you in your head, Virgo. You seem to be anxious, anxiety, worried about this. Trust your intuition here. There's a need for you to gain balance, keeping a calm, collective attitude. Your emotions here. Positive mindset. Because you do have a new leap of faith here, a new chance at love. What is the Ace of Cups? Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. And the Will of Fortune is coming in, Jupiter. Yep, with someone from the past. What is the Ace of Cups? This is a new love offer. Now this could be with a Gemini or a Taurus. Also we have Libra. But the Ace of Cups is coming in from a divine connection. You have a soul connection here. There is a soul agreement here. I have Venus. I have in Gemini here. And this is telling me this is your divine partner with this Ace of Cups. 
there is a great deal of love here having faith in your dreams the empress here she dreams she dreams that her children know their birthright she's all about abundance here she's there could be someone here that's also pregnant someone could be having a baby here in a relationship there could be a pregnant person that you're dealing with of someone divine feminine energy that's giving birth here yeah because I'm saying it could also be someone bringing a grandchild or someone bringing a child in to the picture and there's a father energy here that seems to be at a distance separated Let's see what that Five of Cups is. Your wishes are being fulfilled. Five of Cups. Positive mindset. Positive thought. Five of Cups is clarified by Nine of Cups. Your wishes and desires are coming true. Happiness, satisfaction, comfort. What is the Ace of Pentacles? Bringing in happiness, celebration, three of cups. Someone sees victory with you, Virgo. This is seeing victory. This is having victory. Six of wands energy. After a very long period of what seemed to have been going through the war, this person sees a new beginning. Wanting to rebuild. Someone here is looking in on you, spying on you. This is someone younger, a younger energy with Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords. Ace of Wands. There was a very passionate connection. You had a lot of passion for each other. And I have Libra with the Queen of Pentacles. So there you are, Virgo. This is bringing in justice, fairness. It will work in your favor. There's something here that you're very passionate about. Ace of Wands, starting off that new beginning that brings in passion. Something here that you're very grounded in. This page, this, I'm sorry, that... Queen of Pentacles with the Justice is telling me there's no need for you to worry. There's no need for you to have doubts. This will work in your favor. Libra energy. Yeah, Justice. If there was anything to do with the courts or, the, or a divorce situation, it's going to work in your favor, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles, you're someone who's very motherly, someone who's very grounded with this energy, Queen of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. You're very much empowered. This is the yin energy. It's you value. You know how to value. You know your values. She values herself. She puts up healthy boundaries. Feeling very homely, very grounded. I have an energy of loyalty, of trust. A mother figure here. something that you're very passionate in, about and there's an energy four of pentacles someone holding on someone waiting there's an energy of something very slow coming to to you an energy of having to wait a very long time knight of pentacles with four of pentacles and this energy of blocking your heart out okay four of pentacles holding on tightly finances wealth but the knight of pentacles is here knight of pentacles builds kingdoms he is the young emperor starting off holding on to that knight of pentacle building something that's going to endure lifetimes let's clarify one more for the four of pentacles card nine of pentacles so i have an independent virgo here someone who takes care of themselves, someone 
who makes their own money, someone who's a boss, someone who is a diva, nine of pentacles. This also causes you to be very attractive. You're very attractive to others with this energy. And now you're attracting wealth here because I see the Nine of Pentacles are coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress energy for the Divine Feminine, Queen of Cups energy. You're very loving. You're a motherly type. You're very loyal. There's a level of understanding that you have here. This person sees you in this way. And the energy that I have here is Three of Swords. There was a painful uh, separation here. There was a heartache here. There was a breakup here, Virgo. And the energy of King of Pentacles here is there is a divine partnership here. With the energy of the lovers, there is a coming together here. So the month of September, this, this energy with the harvest moon is bringing in a divine partnership here for you. This could be someone from your past, a father figure or a mother figure, take it how it resonates. But there was a separation here. And now the opportunity is where there's a new start coming. A need for you to gain balance and trust your intuition because there's a leap of faith here that's going to be taking place in the month of September. And this is bringing in unconditional divine love, overwhelming emotions here. And now I also have the emperor and the empress, a father and a mother, and he can't take his eyes off of you. So there is, there is a connection here that has a father and a mother figure. And this person loves you. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Virgo. Starting a whole new chapter in your life. A new start is coming. And it's bringing you a higher level of commitment and a higher level of love. A brand new start. Let's get some clarity from the Romance Angels. And let's clarify this reading for my lovely Virgos. Show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see for my Virgos in love mid-September 2020. What is the advice from the Romance Angels for my Virgos? What is the advice from my Virgos in love? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yep. And I saw that. And this is, I'm speaking to a Virgo here who has put the work in on themselves. Loving yourself first makes you more romantically attractive. love Virgo a new person has stirred your romantic feelings wow yeah there could be a father figure from the past but there's someone here that sparked that started a spark in you there's a new passion here and this person allow your heart and soul to sing with joy there could be a new person here that's coming into your life that started that spark, Ace of Wands, New Beginning, Ace of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles, Energy. One more card, thank you. Let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. Wow, okay Virgo. If this reading resonated with you, I'd appreciate if you'd hit a like and subscribe and you'll get the, the rest of the videos that we load up. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful September. 
Sending you tons of love and goodwill, Virgo. We'll see you soon for October's readings. Bye.